Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine a Bonferroni adjusted pairwise comparison for a one-way ANOVA. Uh, unfortunately there is no fast way of doing this, so we actually have to go over the formula step by step. Um, in my example I have uh, locations uh, 1, 2 and 3, those are my factors, I also listed them here. And I have grades of those. Now that's all I need. The rest is all set up for helping along the way. Oh, and the number of categories is therefore three. Now the first thing we need is the number of items in each category, uh, but also that has a grade. So I need to check if there's a grade and how many times a one occurs, how many times a two, and how many times a three. So I can actually use count ifs for that. E equals count ifs. And then first going to check in column uh, B that it should actually be unequal to uh, nothing or what I can do is simply greater than uh, zero because there were no zeros and zero. You can also use is, uh, is unequal to nothing. Then the second uh, criteria range is of course column A and the criteria for that is simply the location that's here. Close this up, control enter and copy paste it down. So my total number of valid cases is like this. So this means that there are 19 students who were in location 2. Then we need to average, which can be done by simply average uh, if. And the range is going to be the range first of the location, so of the factors. The criteria is that it should be factor 1 in this case. And then the average of column uh, B. Again, I can copy paste uh, this one down. Note that the overall average is not the same as simply the average of these because it's actually weighted. You could also not use the average of B because there might be a location not there. So there's an alternative that you can use here to still do it in one go, which is some product. And then you actually sum product uh, these and you also multiply them by uh, those and then you actually divide by the grand total, which is uh, this one. So that gives you the overall average of all valid cases. The most difficult one is the sum of squares, because actually we first need to do column C. Now in here, I'm going to subtract the average that belongs to the category, or the location in this case, 3, of this grade, and here I need to subtract locations 2 average. So one way of doing that is first check if there uh, is at least something. So if this one is nothing, then it shouldn't do anything. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value and subtract the average by using a fee lookup. I'm going to look up this value in this table and, and then use F4 to use or uh, put in the dollar signs or you can put them in manual manually and then I need a third column and it needs to be an exact match. So I close the VLOOKUP, I also close in these parentheses because I want to square these results and now I can close the entire IF. Then I can copy paste all of this and down and then the sum of squares is a simple sum IF, column A again and then the criteria is of course this one and now the sum is going to be of column C. Then I can copy paste this down and the total sum of squares is therefore within is this one. We also need the mean square within which is actually the same as um, the uh, degrees of freedom perhaps first is easier than what we do for within is we take the total number and then we subtract the number of categories. And then up here, what we can do is we can take this sum and divide it by that degrees of freedom within. So these are all the data points that we need. And now we need to manipulate them and do things pairwise. So I have three locations. So location 1, 2, and 3. And here also 1, 2, and 3. So this is going to be the comparison between location 1 and 1. So this should actually be left empty. 1 and 2 should go in here. So the mean difference is the difference between location 1 and 2 or the difference between location 2 and 1. So I can use VLOOKUP for that. It's VLOOKUP of uh, this value and then press F4 three times to block the column in uh, this table and press F4 to block the table 
and then I want to see the third column because that one contains the means and it needs to be an exact match. I need to subtract the VLOOKUP v look up of this one and here the row needs to be blocked and then actually in the same table and again F4 and again the third column and again a zero. So you could have used copy paste there. So this gives me the difference between um, location 2 and 1 in average. Now I also want to prevent this from actually doing anything in case uh, it's on the diagonal. So if uh, this one equals uh, that one and then it shouldn't do anything else it should do that VLOOKUP and this F4 should be blocked by row and this one blocked by column. Enter, I get a warning about my parentheses but that's okay and now if I copy paste this all the way to the side I nicely get all the differences in averages. So here are some big differences and this is relatively small. You might notice that across the diagonal is empty and these are just the positive versions of these or the other way around uh, depending on which averages you have. Then the standard error is going to be uh, slightly trickier, um, but it's still doable. I still do first location 2 versus, uh, first, uh, versus location 1. So it's going to be a square root out of the mean square within. So F4, because that's not going to change. Multiplied by, open a set of parentheses, 1 over, and then again a VLOOKUP of uh, this value and F4 three times to block the column and in this little table up here F4 and it needs to return the second one and it needs to be an exact match then I can actually copy paste all of this because and then add a plus and then change simply this one to this one F4 so that it actually takes the other entry and then we can actually close all of this in here so 6.89. Double click here just to copy paste that if uh, parameter. Enter just to get out of it again. And then paste it in here. So also now again yes. And I can simply paste this to the entire column. So these are my standard errors. Then the st statistic is nothing else than the mean difference divided over the standard error. So in this case that would be a minus 22.678 divided by 6.8966. Again going for a copy paste of part of a function, escape to get out of it and paste it in here so I actually can copy paste this whole one across the entire table. And I have all my test statistics the next one is then to get the uh, significance unadjusted, which is actually can be done in a few different ways. I'll use the 2 dist 2 t version because I want it two tailed. Uh, make sure to get the absolute value of your t statistic, and then I want to see semicolon. The degrees of freedom is the one we had calculated earlier up here, f4, so that it doesn't change, and close the parentheses. This should give me the significance unadjusted. Double click again for this table and hop. Oh, it's missing an operator. Uh, close the parentheses. Yes. All right. And copy paste. Now to adjust for using the Bonferroni, the Bonferroni is simply by inflating these uh, by the number of pairwise comparisons you're doing and that can be uh, calculated by using the combine function so what we're going to do is combin and then um, or actually sorry we're going to take the original significance and then multiply it by combin and then in this case uh, we have uh, how many categories three so let's block that f4 and then we're choosing two at a time so this should be giving me the adjusted significance. Now, if this might actually become bigger than uh, one, so what we could do is um, if this, and I copy it, is uh, greater than one, then it should simply return a one and otherwise perform the calculation. 
again we also want to prevent the diagonal from showing up with weird uh, values so we add an additional if in there and then accept the parentheses change and we finally now have all our significances there just over 10 minutes okay i hope you found this video helpful and good luck and um, uh, if you want more information check out my website at peterstatistics.com thank you for watching